The 4.5 Spiral Abyss is the hardest abyss we've had in all of Fontaine. And although there's tons of crazy AI manipulation, dodging, and incredible things that you can do, Genshin has more skill expression than people like to let on. I'm not going to talk about very much of that. Instead, this is going to be a masher's guide to the 4.5 Spiral Abyss to get you those sweat-free, stress-free, anxiety-free Spiral Abyss clears. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. Now there's a couple things you have to understand first. Not everyone is going to be able to clear the Spiral Abyss with full start, and even less people are going to be able to actually get a stress-free clear. So I want to start off by saying that if your account isn't ready, it's no big deal. Even if you only get, let's say, one star on each chamber, you're only missing 100 Primo Gems for not clearing floor 12. That's like one, that's like two days worth of commissions or less. So the first thing is, if you can't do it, it's really not a big deal. Um, I know a lot of guys makers cover floor 11 for their spiral abyss guides and to be honest although there are definitely some tips i have for floor 11 like groupers are really good and you know having the right elements you know maybe aggravate for the first side with some dendro so it turns into kind of a hyper bloom and then having some good defensive utility for the second side so you don't get bonked by the consecrated beasts if you're not able to clear floor 11 with full stars there's a really good chance that your account just isn't built enough and so the first thing you want to do is you know watch my guides for the individual characters, but also my character building guide, my artifact guide, my team building guide, my combat tips. Check out those guides. They're very, very good and helpful for getting you to that point where floor 11 isn't even a question. And if you're still having trouble and you think you shouldn't be, you either just need more resin investment or you can join our Discord. And we've helped a ton of people, 36 star. I say we, it's really our incredible team over there. So we're going to really focus on floor 12 today. And floor 12 is definitely, like I said, the hardest floor in Fontaine. I've cleared it a couple times now with full stars, and I have some thoughts. My first thought is the first side is way harder than the second. Like the second side, you just need a decent team and you can easily get all the damage you need. This this is the single target. Second side is one of the easiest ones. Jade Plume Terror Shroom, honestly, kind of a joke. Perpetual Mechanical Array, not a big deal. And the veteran, arithmetic enhancer mech is a little bit tougher but honestly it's not that bad because its hp is pretty low it can kill you if you don't utilize you know jumps to dodge but it's really the first side that's going to give people the most trouble if you have kazua kazua is going to be great on the first side that's the first thing i would say i'm going to do i'm going to showcase a clear today and i'm not going to use kazua because i know that he's he hasn't rerun for a really long time so a lot of people you know you've been 36 starring through fontaine maybe you're having a bit more more trouble now you don't you might not have Kazua. Um, Venti is also going to be decent especially for the first two chambers the third one is not the other thing you can do is if you're really trying to get the primo gems or if you're just trying to get that 36 star you can always go through the first and second chamber with a Kazua or Venti team and then redo it again if you're having trouble with the Icewind Suite and you know bring a Zhong Li because the Icewind Suite can really one shot you if you're not being careful especially if you're standing in Bennett circle or something it can really easily one shot you it can also freeze you if you're using Sing Cho, so it's pretty dangerous. Having a really good healer is very nice and very important, or, or a good shielder, obviously. So you can do that. You can go through chamber one and two with a Kazuo or a Venti, and then do chamber three with a really strong defensive utility, because honestly, without a grouper, it depends on what team you have. You need to have really strong AoE for the first two, um, for the first two sections. There's also some enemy manipulation you can do, which I'll show you from my run through. Um, so yeah, I'm a big proponent of win with your favorites. So I'm going to build teams with my favorite characters. And I'm also a really big proponent of invest in the best teams for your characters. And if you really want a 36 star consistently and not be super sweaty, I do recommend a little bit of vertical investment for your characters. Uh, I'll showcase a clear without much vertical because because basically I see it this way for every spiral abyss, you got to have one of two things. Maybe there's three things. Number one, the right teams, right? This, you need to have one of these three things. Number one is the right teams. Number two is very good game knowledge. And number three is vertical investment. You don't have to have all three. It's going to be easier if you have two out of the three. And obviously it's going to be a cakewalk if you have three out of three. But any one of those three can bring you up. If you don't have good game knowledge and you don't have a good variety of teams and you don't have any vertical invested teams, you're going to really struggle and you probably won't be able to 36 star. So what do I mean by this? I mean that if you're playing a Raiden team that maybe you do have 
her C2. Maybe you do have Yolan's weapon. Maybe you do have Farina's C1 or C2. This is what I'm talking about for vertical invest. I'm not talking about anything crazy, like not C6 characters, but you picked your favorites or you picked really universal characters that can go in every team. Farina C2, Nahida, Farina C1 or C2, Nahida C2, you know, Novalet if you main him, his C1 or his weapon, you know, Raiden C2, Yolan C1, Yolan's weapon, Yolan C2, stuff like that is what, um, it's definitely not what you need by a, by a long shot, but it's one of the ways that you can make your Abyss clears stress-free. And I'm a big proponent of that if you want to have that option. If you're not like sweaty gamer mode, which I know a lot of people aren't, but if you, if you want a challenge, I recommend not getting those. If you want a challenge, limit yourself to four-star weapon. Limit yourself to C0 characters. That can make it really, really fun and satisfying and gratifying. If you're looking for that hard challenge, honestly, C2 with no five, C0 with no five-star weapons is a really nice way to give yourself a little bit of challenge. It's not always a challenge, but with abysses like this, you know, it definitely, you definitely have to do pretty well. So the first team I want to make is I'm going to use a Navia team for the second side. And I think we're going to do Bennett Shangling. And then I think we're going to do Raiden for the first side. And I know this is a four or five star team, but it's this isn't like a super good, super optimal team. We're going to use the catch, even though it's not optimal on this team. Uh, we're going to give Farina, leave her on Fav. We'll switch Yolan to, let's see, my stringless is, or my, yeah, my, 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 very, my not stringless, my slingshot is not leveled up and she really doesn't want um, her uh, Favonius on this team because she's getting so much energy. So we'll use Viridescent Hunt. It's actually giving her less than, less value than if I was using the slingshot. So this is considered a free to play weapon. Uh, we're also not gonna use Yolan C1 for this run so that we can simulate C0. Uh, we're gonna run Shanyan on Thrilling Tails with four P's VV to swirl hopefully Electro and Hydro. So my Raiden is well built. Wait, what happened to her? <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay, there we go. We could actually use an attack sans, but I like having a bit more energy for comfort. So we're going to try this. I definitely might get some flack for showcasing a team that uses four or five stars. Oh, for the second side, I forgot to do, forgot to do them up. But the reality is if, if you're a free to play, you're wishing for five stars. Like you're not, I, I don't like four star only clears because to compensate for having four stars, you have to showcase extremely well invested characters. Cause it, so it's like, yeah, you may be showcasing four star clears and only four star, oh, hello, four star only characters, but they're so well invested that by the time any free to play has that kind of artifact investment on their characters, they're going to have a lot of five stars. So I'm not like, you don't need to have all these five stars. Like Jean works pretty much just as well on this team. You know, Sing Cho might even be, well, Sing Cho is going to be a damage loss compared to Yulon for sure. But you know, you could use your Diluc instead of my Raiden and that would probably perform, well, I don't know about better, but it would perform just as well anyways. Um, I'm a little bit worried my Chiori is going to lose too much health from Harbinger, but oh well. My Chiori is also gimped because she doesn't have a geo damage goblet she's wearing a defense goblet because i'm yeah so anyways that's those are the teams and the reason why i think this is more free to play friendly again is because you're you should be wishing for five stars on your account that you actually end up using and five stars aren't always better than four stars either right like and you could easily be using you know gaming on this team plunge deal you could be using plunge dea and you're gonna be doing similar damage with a bit less comfort so let's do this um starting with the rotation this is one of those things oh i, I said i wasn't gonna use c1 i already messed up i'm sorry it doesn't really matter um okay. Okay. Basically what I'm saying is even though this is a five star team, it's not like that you you should have teams that are as good as this team. And that's kind of that's kind of what I'm saying. And you don't have to have a five star team to have teams as good as this team. If your team because this team is mostly comfort, it's not really the most crazy powerful team ever. And we would be doing a lot better if we had a grouper as well. But again, we're kind of nerfing ourselves because I think a lot of people don't have a grouper right now until they get their Kazwa. And I definitely don't have have enough energy on my Yelan, but it's okay. So we are going to not hit the minute 30, but like I was saying, the first half is the hard half. If you can't clear the first half in time, it's not that big of a deal. It's all about getting a good time on the second half. This is a really slow time though. Oh, I forgot to burst, not good. Okay, so we're on the second half. Yeah, the first half wasn't that good. You know, we didn't do that, get that good of a time because my team is kind of bad, honestly, and it's kind of gimped and it's not using any of 
of the vertical investment that I have that makes that team actually good. That's a team that actually has a lot of scaling for vertical investment. And I took it all off. I took off my five star weapons. I took off everything. But fortunately, this guy is legitimately a joke. So no problem. No problem with the second side because Dendro Chicken's a joke. So don't worry about the like, I recommend also Hyper Bloom for the second side is going to be super, super good. We'll talk about other teams that you can do at the end. Uh, let's see if this does any better. We forgot to burst again with Shenyun. Let's restart. Let's restart. We'll take the ER because we're a bit low, which is hilarious because mostly just because again, this is for Mashers. I like you, you in the comments, you can be like, oh, you're not playing optimally. You're not doing this and that. Yeah. And it's kind of by design because I know a lot of people don't play optimally, don't play, want to play, don't want to play optimally. Uh, we just want to mash. And it's not that I don't like, um, you know, working a bit harder to get like really good clears and that I don't like to do that sometimes. Like later on to the, into the abyss, um, I'll get, my clears will get better. Like my first few clears are much worse than my other clears, if that makes sense. Like if I tried to record footage right now for my guides, people would be like, wow, this guy's kind of awful. We'll use her to trans traverse over here. Very nice. We're doing good damage over here though. Yeah, this is not bad. Yeesh. Yeah, these guys, if you're not careful, because they've got the the thing the the um the things on the bottom it can really mess you up if you're not careful and i'm not being that careful so Ooh. and our, how's our time i think we're doing okay it's not amazing 807 that's actually pretty pretty bad this team kind of trash i'm not gonna lie ride in farina yalan i kind of talked it up in my ride and guide if you don't have yalan's bow and Raiden's weapon it the damage kind of feels much worse so it was a bit of my vertical investment bias showing which you know i'm willing to admit that vertical investment matters a lot but i think that maybe navi is just so good that this might be fine 30 seconds i think it's gonna be a little bit tight it's gonna be a little bit tight let's see yeah no Okay, now is this because of skill issue or bad team? A bit of both. Oh, we used it. Oh, it didn't really matter. I think we might be able to get a bit better of a clear here. We'll try and get them a bit more grouped up to do a bit better AOE here. Missed our bow, it's okay. Oh, we died. We're doing good this time too. Lame. Let's try and aim a bit more this way so that we can focus fire the electro ones because he's way over here, bro. Messed up. Okay, what's the best way to hit all these guys together? Maybe like this? Oof, I think that would have, that would have, if we didn't die, that would have actually done well. We'll try again. Okay, we're gonna try and focus on the Electro ones because they're ignoring a big part of our damage. So we're gonna try and make sure we hit them with our, our abilities. I know that I'm, that was really bad because I was hitting them with my Electro abilities, but not really focused on the Hydro ones. All right, let's do this again. Get back here, you absolute goon. I should have swirled. If I swirled, that would have been better. Oh, I just passed Thrilling Tales to Shanyan. That's not what we want. Oof, almost died with Yalan, but it's okay. We're getting really nice grouping here, keeping an eye on our health. And I think this time we have enough. Whoops, I didn't mean to use my skill twice. I meant to switch to Shenyun. Didn't really matter. Okay, so I don't think we need to adjust our this team's play. Okay, okay. I think this is better so far. Let's get some more energy for our Shang Ling. We'll start our burst right here. Get this rotation going. Okay, this should be good. We'll make sure that our Chiori... Okay, no problem easy does it so it's like this is an example of okay play good team decent teams and not really vertically invested like vertically invested in artifacts but not in characters so it's sort of like it's sort of like an above average showcase um looks like we're gonna forgo farina's burst this time try and dodge with jumps oh we died anyway that didn't work dodging with jumps doesn't work that well we'll heal we'll get some healing not holding my elon charge attack long enough mm. it's really easy to die to these guys if you're uh if you're a scrub like me Ah, almost. Okay, I think we got this. Because it's really this last chamber. It's not really the damage. It really is the survivability. Like, obviously damage can make it easier. But if you can't even survive one rotation, <laughs> like it's easy not to, then it's no big deal. I, I, I do, then it's like you're, you're screwed. So I, I like that uh, it's on the first half though. So you don't have to reset as much. That's nice. We'll open with bursts. Uh, we're also not using the buff. Like there's a geo construct buff and we're not 
we're just not we're just ignoring it so you can see this guy's pretty squishy he does not have a lot of hp kind of wasting bennett's uptime here should have been funneling in a different way it's fine we just wasted an entire rotation it's no big deal similar to the first half damage isn't nearly as important as not dying chiori burst boom all right so that was not easy um but it wasn't awful either this abyss is definitely decently hard um you definitely have to there's some survivability it's one of my favorite abysses actually because it's not so hard that it's like feels very punishing but it is hard enough that you can't just tune out and not do anything i could honestly i could deal if the second side was a little bit harder but the first side is su quite sufficiently hard you need to have a strong team on the first side and my riding team was just kind of just kind of not that great now i i want to show you the difference when i kind of do a, like actually use my vertical investment so i give raiden her actual weapon i give yolan her actual weapon and i act and i start using yolan's um constellation we're not gonna go through the whole abyss but just so you can see just by changing those two things how much of a difference this actually makes okay so get ready for this where is my shanyan and we'll do navi again we'll give chiori her weapon it doesn't matter but i i'm just tilted not having chiori on her weapon I just love her weapon so much that I want to that I want to use it. Oh, and by the way, the reason I'm using Navia's axe is because you could use Serpent Spine and you really wouldn't lose very much if any damage. I just don't want to wait for the stacks, so it doesn't count. Um right in okay let's do this and let's see the difference of a little bit of vertical investment not even right in c2 that would be huge um but not even right in c2 just a couple five star weapons just want to shred them a little bit before getting in here because you remember how long it took the last time like we were well like above the one minute 30 mark but i would be surprised if we didn't if we didn't beat the one minute 30 this time like this is like like so much more comfortable of a clear get back here like easily within the one minute 30 like the difference is night and day like honestly that kind of team kind of booty if you don't have a bit of vertical investment and yeah that's just the way it'd be we'll play a little better too okay and here we go boom easy absolutely absolutely nuts uh we'll give the er sure raiden's lacking her er here it's okay we'll start with the skill this time instead of after we're not we're still not gonna use shanyan c2 we're not going we're not wailing here um i'm just recording a video faithy i can't come right now and you can see even this is like pretty night and day pretty darn night and day we'll see how it ends up in the end but oh there he is come on get back here uh i don't remember what position we were in last time oh we started with our burst oh we died again oops all right we'll try that again he's still gonna die nothing can solve you can't pay your way to not die unless you know i guess if you have zhongli but this that doesn't work on this team um shenyan is a bit gimped from uh not having um good base attack for the healing but it's okay a whole rotation faster this time Elon didn't die thank goodness yeesh almost died there but it's fine but the thing is like look they're almost dead like the difference in in damage is just, is just it's so big we'll get a bit of energy to start i'm gonna keep an eye on cherry's doll there it goes i'm not gonna use shangling here keep an eye on cherry's doll again it's still there okay bennett let's get a bit of bennett energy oh we missed it in the window we don't have that much but we'll use it we'll use it here so that we have time we'll use chiori and then we're all stacked up for this boy mr crit is what it is and and as you can see, we just have a lot more time. Just just way more time. Um, Shuri's weapon has basically nothing to do with this. It's mostly all on the first side. And this is only one side of vertical investment, right? This is not even like, as if, it's not even like I vertically invested into both sides. Ah, did our Yelan die? Yep, try again, try again. Actually, we should heal. We should heal. Better. Ah, I was just about to switch. Got it too greedy. I hated when this guy was on the second side. I was a pain in the butt. And I used a Bennett team too. Man, that was rough. All right, we got it this time. Should be good now. Ooh. Ooh, our Shanyan died. Do we care? Can we still do it without Shanyan, our healer? Ah, uh, that's funny. Just and Yolan's dead too. It's just Farina. Uh, no, nah, let's try again. <laughs> These guys are na are kind of nasty. I know I could probably learn their combos. It's kind of like Genshin's kind of mean because they teach you that what okay what Genshin is not that I don't learn attack combos. I don't learn attack combos until I have to. Why would I learn some attack combos if I 
don't have to when I can just one bang the enemy. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I, I don't want to or that I can't or that I'm skill issue. It's just like if I never had to before. Oh, I died again. Oh my goodness. Why would I now is kind of the thing. Um, no, it's not that if I never had to before, it's why would I now? It's that I never had to before, so I haven't I haven't learned it yet. That's all. All right. Um, because like, okay, for example, even the perpetual mechanical array, I've learned his by now. I've learned the wee nuts because you kind of have to to know where he comes up. I've learned the primo Gio Vish app because I had to. I will learn Capellias eventually as I play this Spiral Abyss, but it's like normally it's just like I one bang it. So it's kind of like, yeah, we'll use some Chiori Burst, gets a cool little bit of damage there, get some plunges. <laughs> oh, this is the one where you have to actually dodge or else you die. Oh no, I wasted Bennett buff. Okay, so that is my little showcase of just a couple vertical investors, not even the good ones. Like that's the funny thing is like, yeah, Yolan's bow is like good, you know, and her constellation one is like good so she can use her bow. Um, but, and Yolan, and Raiden's weapon is like okay in this team. But like, imagine if I busted out a C2 Raiden. Imagine if I had Novalet. So that's the thing about vertical invest. I'm not advocating, I'm advocating that you, that you, if you want to win with your favorites, which is what I, how I like to play, right? I like to win with my favorites. I know it shows that I I don't have Albedo and Mona here. It's because this is the test server. Because the Abyss was, when I recorded this, it wasn't out yet on the real server. Um... I'm not advocating that you need constellations, but if you want to win with your favorites consistently and comfortably, that you need one of three. Great game knowledge, a great variety of teams, or some vertical investment. And the vertical investment is a piece that it, it, can, it is timeless. So is game knowledge, but some people don't want to get good. So any one of those three is going to be good. Um, and also I recommend, you know, playing, if, if you're having trouble, again, you know, playing it more than once. Like my first time was more rough. Second time, getting easier. Third time easier you know i think uh so let's talk about let's talk about teams teams and strategies what could do well versus this abyss i think we're gonna go through five stars first half second half both neither and this is just a first draft uh, if you've got Diluc, I can do, e I think, either. Assuming Plunge, right? This is Assuming Plunge. If you don't have Shanyun, then it's neither. <laughs> but if you, if, you if you have Shanyun, then it's going to be either. I'll do four stars, too, if I think they're they're noteworthy. Um, Venti is first half with a butt. It's only really for the first two. For the third one, you may struggle. You may have to switch him off. It depends on your investment. Plea, definitely first half. Her AoE is going to be really good this Abyss. Child's going to be so good in the first half this Abyss. Um, Mono Geo, the first half. Albedo, remember, is power crept by Chiori. Uh, I think Alba but G Mono Geo could do either side, really. I think because Mono Geo has big AoE, like if you're using Ito, it has big AoE. So I would recommend the first half, right? The second half, yeah, I could do it for sure. Um, but it's the second half. Also, keep in mind the Abyss Blessing. The Abyss Blessing, even for floor 12, when you use Geo Constructs, you will do true damage every six seconds. So Geo is definitely buffed, like Albedo specifically. Shori is actually not unless you're using a construct like Zhongli. So I recommend that for the first half. Zhao, definitely the first half. It'd be a great abyss for Zhao. Um, Hu Tao, second half, definitely a single target. You could use her in the first half for sure, especially if you're using Plunge, has much more AoE. But definitely the, the second half is going to be a lot better. I think Ganyu could do either pretty equally. Like she can do good AoE, but Melts can also do good single target. If you're using Bennett, it's kind of rough on the first half. So maybe second half. Like I think. I think using Melt Ganyu is going to be tough. Same with Child standing in the Bennett circle. And see, same with Klee. Bennett is just super scary on the first half. Yeah, you can do it, but it's scary because you can easily get melted by the, because the, the, by the Capellia. So you could even like, like just, just take, it's like an, with an asterisk, right? Kazwa first half for sure. Eula, I think Eula on this Abyss could do either. I think this is a, because you got those multi waves, but I think if you've got a well invested, just keep in mind that Eula is like, a bit weaker in power so even though it's either it's not like like i think am i blocking by the way no i'm okay i think even though she goes yeah she's 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 decent uh kitchen aggravate's gonna be so good on the first side so so good highly highly recommend aggravate um 
freeze gonna be good on the first side right you do have to burn through the capellia but i think as long as you have good healing i think you can do it i think ayaka on the first side is pretty good ayaka can boss rush too like like the second side the, here's the thing about this abyss the second side kind of easy like you can kind of use whatever you want on the second side like def but definitely like i'll height like i'll height them if, if a care like this is the thing about this abyss if you can do the first side you can do the second side because the second side's so much easier so like like who are your what's really going to be more useful who can carry the first half that's going to be more of a useful question and then this is going to be good enough for a first half good enough for either probably and then second half the venti carries the first two but it's going to have tough with capellia ito is going to actually do good in this abyss because of the construct buff is going to make him feel like really really good um child i'm going to put him in even though he can carry it's going to be so hard against capellia maybe you switch to zhongli instead of uh <laughs> I don't know. I, I just think you're going to get, it's so hard to not get melted and destroyed. If you're good, you know, if you're good, it's good. Zhao without Bennett's going to be so, so good. Um, Aggravate's going to be so good. I actually think Freeze can carry the first half. I think Spread, I'll hype him with Zhongli. Probably going to be pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Even Hyper Bloom is going to be decent. Um, Good enough for either, good enough for either. How are you going to use Hu Tao realistically? If you use Kazuha, for sure, like an Animo, something like that. Uh, Raiden's good enough for either. Yaimiko. I think Yaimiko Miko and like Raiden, if you're using them with Kazwa, they can carry in the first half. But I don't know if I would just like say outright that they can carry. This isn't too serious, by the way. We'll do a deeper dive into teams once the usage rates come out a bit more. Uh, I think Ayato is good on the first half, especially. Baiju is really going to help you on the first half, especially if you pair him with Kazwa. Kako like uh, Farina is going to be good. Kakomi is going to be helpful. I just think survivability for that first half is going to be so, so good. I like a Kakomi Mono Hydro could be really good with uh, the Farina Yalan with Kazuha that could be really really good um, I think Wander is good enough for either Sino is good enough for either I think uh Nahida is good enough um I think uh Nilu is first half you're gonna need to put some put some uh single targets so like Yolan or Farina or Singcho onto the, onto her team for those guys um the last the last chamber Linny very good Novalette very good uh Risley uh Risley's good enough um Navi is good enough for either but it's gonna be a little bit tricky and Chiori is going to be great when you use her in the Mono Geo team and decent for both. So I don't know. These are, I just wanted to talk through. Don't pay too much attention to the tiers. Think about like Sucrose if you're driving is going to be good for the first half. There's lots of, lots of stuff you can do. So let me know your thoughts. Leave your tips down below. We'll, we'll make another video when their usage rates come out. i um, talking about things. Um, let me know what your thoughts on vertical investment and uh, what, if you want to lean more into vertical investment, which I recommend for a certain type of player, not every player, but a certain type of player who wants to 36 star but doesn't want to become too sweaty um this is the video that i recommend for you and that's how you mash through the 4.5 spiral abyss thanks so much and take care bye for now